content, man. So happy. So in love with this lifestyle. And it's only just getting started. Just look at him, soaking up the sun rays overlooking the gorgeous desert hills of Bolivia. Oh man, it's f***ing cold. <laughs> you wanna come with us, eh? I'm here in the middle of nowhere on my way to the biggest salt flats in the world. It's especially chilly with just how unprepared I am with my beach tent and kid sleeping bag. But where I'm going, it'll get a lot colder because I'm driving from the very bottom of Argentina to Alaska. Alrighty, we made it. The plan is that we're just gonna drive down the road until we find some sun. And then, salar de uni. Yeah, we got it going. A lot quicker than last time, especially since it's colder than last time. Hola. Buen día. ¿Cómo va? We're on the road. Come. On. There we go. Let's get to it. Ooh, she's crispy. Oh boy. Good girl. You're doing good. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we found the sun. We have survived hypothermia, and we are trying to survive frostbite. How do we made it? Ooh, it's cold, man. It is. Freaking freezing. Ah. All right. Goodness gracious me, the anti shake on the camera is working well because I'm shivering. Brother. <laughs> I can't even walk, you know? Good times, but good times. Making memories, aren't we, Patty? Yeah. And Patty's rocking the double coat. Good girl. Good girl, Bubba. <laughs> So we just stopped in this little small town, got some bread, gave out some bread to some strangers, um, but always such a positive encounter here in Bolivia with these legends just out beside me. So yeah, no, beautiful, beautiful spot. Really cool. And yeah, we're on our way with a bit of breakfast, bit of, bit of fuel, and we just put fuel back in the back as well. So we've got about probably 10 liters left, um, but hopefully we get filled up in Uyuni. Good stuff, Aunt buddy. You're just chilling out. She's resting. <laughs> Yo, just check out how the landscape's changed, man. That's insane. For a little part of it, it could almost pass as a bit of Outback Australia as well. Uh, which is quite interesting. Yeah, a bit of nostalgia. I think when, whenever we're sleeping, like Tuk Tuk in camp, um, she's like not, she's still aware, you know what I mean? So it's good for me to manage it the next day and the day after to make sure that she gets like plenty of rest and that we stop and she gets her own downtime as well. I don't know where this guy's come from. Yo, baby llamas have my heart, I just realized. <laughs> Incredible, almost as cute as you, Patty. Don't worry, you still got the top spot. Come on, eat your breakfast. We just parked up in the middle of nowhere, let the engine cool down a bit and get Patty some breakfast. She's been eating like later. Sometimes I'll, I'll have the food like out and then she won't eat until like midday. So yeah, it's about like 9.30 I'd say. And yeah, she's hooking in pretty well. Good girl, proud of you. Nice work, Patty. It's still cold. Like it looks like I'm in the middle of the desert, but now I'm in like a rain jacket for wind and the jumper. 
I've got the jeans, gloves. It's the perfect Ranger weather where I'm not gonna get sunburnt, but I can still be outside, you know what I mean? Hey. So a quick peep to my right had me looking at this gorgeous canyon. I'm gonna drive up a little bit, see if it's any better. Man, oh man. Wow, there it is, the first sighting of Salar de Uni. Wow, man, it's like a sea of white. How incredible is that? We're in there. We're living in party. We're doing it. What are we doing? Mom, I'm okay. We're living it. Um, yeah, we've, we made it to Salar de Uni. Your son's in the biggest salt flats in the world with a dog with a tuk-tuk in Bolivia. What's he doing? Got no clue, but he's loving it. That's the city of Uyuni from the city shooting off to the right. You've got the Salar de Uni. I think where we're staying tonight is somewhere like out there. It's just it's just a random hostel that by the Google map standard looked like it was right on the edge of the start. I'm in my little granny blanket. Oh you want pets? Oh pobrecito. <laughs> City of monks like it's yeah, old dirt road, that's pretty cool. We've got our first item on the agenda, get fuel. So how rough? What we just tried to do was a bit cheeky cheeky, but apparently if you have a friend uh, with the photocopy of their passport of Bolivia, you can fill up like a, a tank. So that's what these Argentinian guys were on about. They were saying, yo, how do I get the non-international price? Because now that I've got like a Bolivian vehicle, if I'm filling directly into my car, I can get it for like the 70 cents, 70 US cents per liter but it's gonna be like almost $2 per liter if I'm filling up the container. So I've got, I got the main tank in the tuk-tuk filled up, but not, the, not the, the blue tank at the back. So I've got probably 10 liters of that still there. And I've just taken a, I just found someone on the street and I was like, yo, can I pay you a little bit to like use your photocopy? Um, and they will just fill, filled up their little tank and they'll walk into their car and they're like, yeah, yeah, I'll, yeah, no problem. And the guy was like, oh, no, you've already filled up your tank. No, you can't do another one with a second photocopier the, of your passport. So, like I still got 10 liters, that'll do, but it's an absolute. Anyway, well, we've got a food market going, so that's, that's a positive. Hola, como estas? Hay cebolla blanco? No, I. Hola, amigo. Hay yeah, cebolla blanco. Hay zanahoria, cebolla. ¿Tú quieres un chayón nuevo? ¿Cómo estás? Pues tú alejo. Yo, the local market is a vibe, man. I love it. Perfecto. Y de, de verde, ¿cómo se dice? ¿Marón? ¿Es marón? Sí. Dos, dos verdes, por favor. ¿Cómo se dice eso, amigo? Pepino. Ah, una, una de esas. Patty's having a cry in the tuk-tuk. <laughs> ¿Cuánto cuesta? Uh, diez. Diez, perfecto. Gracias. Ya. Yeah. Tengas un buen día. So that was like just under two bucks for all these groceries, which is cool. I've already got rice in the tuk-tuk. So we've got some stuff to cook with tonight if there's a kitchen at the hostel. But it's also good to just travel with some veggies, isn't it, Paddy? It's okay. It's okay. Estamos bien, che. No te preocupes. If you find the ladies with the rainbow little slings, the ones that have the babies in them especially, uh, you know you're on the right track to finding the, the good deals and the, and the solid quality food in wherever part of Bolivia you're at. I thought this was all like a city of dirt roads. It's not. It's got concrete underneath. But it's just, yeah, so sandy and dusty. Um, it's been covered up. Very cool, man. Good vibes. So what do you think, Paddy? You enjoying it? I was just asking old mate. I was saying, wait, I'm sorry. I'm not getting in your way, am I? What, what, is, what is going on? <laughs> Amigo. Ciao. Amigo. Oh. <laughs> Are we gonna have to pick up another stray street dog, Patty? <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna probably let them chill. Um, Cause Patty's gonna watch over the tuk-tuk when I, when I go for lunch. Love it.
the ahi here is like really good. It's like this little dressing sauce that they just serve um, on every table to add a bit of spice, and it's really nice. So the orange already in it, like the orange tint is the ahi. Man, yeah, no, it's spot on. So all up, three bucks. Brilliant little feed. Patty, you did so well. Nice. Good girl, you weren't barking and you were protecting the tuk tuk and having a rest. Perdón. No, 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 parte. Si, 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 parte. Cha cha. He just came out and said it, you, you paid too much, but I was like, ah oh, man, like, it was three bucks. <laughs> you, you keep the, you keep the, if there's change on three bucks, you keep the change, my friend. Okay, so I'm at attempt number two to get gasoline. We're doing an under table, almost international price. Um, it's like a dollar fifty per liter, and I got like just to fill up the the little tank because I don't want to be crossing the salt flats and getting stuck in the middle of nowhere. That would be. A bit I learned from the best. <laughs> These Bolivians out here, they just keep sending it, honking their horns. Love it. My horn's not very powerful. It's a tuk-tuk, um, but it still did the trick. There it is, man. There it is. Just out to my left. White, for as far as the eye could see. White salt flats, man. Very, very cool. Well, we made it. This is where we're staying for tonight. And you can see literally the salt flats on the horizon over there, which is crazy. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get a good rest in first and then like explore that tomorrow with plenty of time, um, plenty of daylight to, to get into a bit of mischief in case we get into a bit of trouble. I've heard that you do need a four wheel drive or it definitely helps, but we got the three left in us. We're tangled up, are we, buddy? There we go. There we go, that's us, Paddy. I'll go get your blankets, Paddy, so you feel all at home. So, all up the room, plus I'm gonna use the kitchen to cook tonight. So, all up it was, yeah, it's like $5 or $4.50. Yeah, living it cheap in what looks like probably like the most expensive hostel in, in the salt flats, with it being like on the salt flats and it being like salt floors. I don't know, that just, uh, to me that just makes it like double the price in my opinion. It's called Hostel Sweet and Salty. That's really cool. I like it. Really fits the, the salt flats theme. I walked in the room and I was like, where the heck's Patty? She's made herself at home on the bed. Good on her. So I've just wrapped her up. The room is freezing. If it looks like I've been crying as well, it's because I'm cutting up onions. And I just was like, ah, oh, this is like such a wholesome experience. I have to just like record a snippet, but I won't record much because I don't want to like bother the ladies, but it's my first time cooking in a Bolivian kitchen. <laughs> Salud. Riquísimo. Es dulce. Sí. Dulce. Look at that. Awesome experience. Really cool. Really wholesome. And like chatting back and forth in the kitchens are cool. Loving it. We're just packing the tuk tuk and heading out to the biggest salt flats in the world. Well, I need to keep my bearings about us because apparently it's really quite easy to get lost around here. 